Hello everyone, I am going to explain you today about the part B again. This is my third time making the part B. So please make sure that you are taking the tips or the vocabs which I am teaching in the video. Uh, when you are practicing as well, you can take those vocabs which you are getting from the reading. So whenever you are practicing, please make sure to take the maximum ideas, tips and the vocabs or the words from the words and the meaning from the reading passage. So first thing is that I'm focusing more on the part B because I have already uh, gave the video of part A which I have explained bit of the things but I think I need to make a new one uh, very soon in the part A which I'm going to explain the again the detailed part of the 1 to 7 as well as the from the 7 to 20 how the things will go in the different passage. And uh, now I'm focusing more on the part B because uh, part B is also very important and it is easy. How it is easy is I'm sure many of uh, many of the uh, students or the viewer will be thinking like how she can say that it is easier because uh, all of you were finding very difficult in part B and part C I guess. It is easy because you have a plenty of time. You have a plenty of time to plenty of time to think about. This is a very good opportunity for you all. Uh, why I'm saying this thing is because if you have a time, you have a time to think over. If you think over, then what things will happen is you will get the right answer. How you will get the right answer by practicing. If you practice more now and with knowing, okay, without knowing and without knowing the ideas and the tips and the meaning of the word then you may end up with wasting the time while you are practicing. So I like to tell you that whenever I'm publishing the video of part B and very soon part C as well and part A. So whenever I give, uh, I'm giving the video of part B, please make sure to take the tips and that same tips you can follow when you are practicing as well. So uh, here I brought one more, uh, one, uh, one more question and the uh, passage as well as the option which I'm going to explain you now. So this this extract is very easy. Some of the extract it will come uh, in a sentence way. This is an incomplete sentence I told you before right and now you need to find the remaining from the passage. Sometimes you will get the questioner. When you are getting the questioner you need to search the answer from the passage and match with the option wise. So here is a statement or the sentence form. You need to find the incomplete sentence from the remaining. What uh, what main key you need to keep in mind is about the part B is always keep the meaning of the question. If the meaning of the uh, vocabs, whichever word which you are unfamiliar in the question part, you need to find it out and jot down in the your notebook like this way P prior you are unknown to this or unfamiliar to, to this vocab then you need to jot down in your note and make sure to recall and study uh, when you are practicing. If, in case if in the future you may get this kind of vocab again, you should not write again in your notebook. Instead of that, just recall the meaning of the vocab and try to practice on that base. If you know the meaning of this in the questionnaire, then you will get the answer from here because this kind of words or some of the vocabs or the words are paraphrased here. If you don't know the meaning here, then you, you, you may end up with losing the answer here. But here, if you are unfamiliar with the, any of the vocabs or the words, do, no need to study or no need to uh, get get uh, get to know this kind of vocabs while you are practicing. Why I'm saying is that these are not so necessary and repeated in the question. These vocabs which are in the question part will be repeated in the exam as well as in the reading passage. So I'm saying on that base, please make sure to take a vocabs meaning from the question part rather than from the passage. This is the first tip. Now second thing is according to the question we need to read. First thing is what are they talking about? The prior to make a home visit, home visit nurses must. Nurses should prioritize, should do before doing the home visit. That is a question. So what I told you in the part B is in my case, in my opinion always I uh, I like to, I like to advise all my viewers and the students to take the 
option first and then go for the passage in the part b but part c is different don't go for the option why because there are many distractor and you distractors and you may end up with the many okay there are four four option they will provide which will be kind of um doubtful for you if you read in the part c but in part b you in my case okay you better to take a chance to read these things and take the meaning of one is saying this two is saying this three is saying this then go for the passage if you are going like this you will get the right answer from here and you will get the one marks from here if you get the good score from b then a part also if you are able to score 19 then you will surely pass uh, the oet rating without any has uh, without any uh, any uh, like a uh, without any hesitation i can say that for 100 percent so uh, first tips i have already told you right take the work apps and now second thing is you should read the question now question is also already about the nurses which is an important one i will just color um, nurses very important and this thing you need to keep in mind home visit and then prior before taking the visit nurses must what nurses should do record the time they leave the practice they leave the practice okay that you should keep the mind keep in mind this time and the leave and refill refill the bag before going to the home visit they should either refill or they should mention the time and then communicate their intention so these things now there are three things you should keep record the time they leave the practice home before doing the home visit they should record the time second is refill the bag and communicate their intention to the others now we will see here so after reading this keep in mind this vocab this meaning as well as these three things now before going to the visit i should record the time or i should refill the back or communicate so here while you are reading some of the passage clearly as i told you in the previous video if there is a however if there is a therefore if there is a but so and some some kind of contrasting things you should take the answer maximum from there only you should try to read rather than going from the beginning but you can read that as well because you have a plenty of time now we can see the uh, contrasting word right so you better to read nurse home visit guidelines when the nurse is ready to depart it's a synonyms of the pri priority So this is a synonym. So ready to depart. This is a synonyms of the prior ready to depart from the min when the home visit when they are ready to depart is a synonyms of the prior paraphrase okay they are mentioned here when they are ready to depart what he or she the staff nurse advise a minimum of two member staff that he or she is staff staff nurse is commencing means again if you are unfamiliar with that commencing means starting starting again is same commence to start prior before these all are the paraphrase again this is also paraphrase home visit they should tell more than two M minimum the two or they should inform the staff those staff about their commencing the home visit or to start the home visit or prior to the home visit they the question is clearly mentioned here right prior making the home visit the nurses must the nurses ready to depart a maximum of the or the minimum of two staff member that he or she is commencing the home visit they should inform with the and these things not necessary and more than one person may 
must be aware of the nurse's movement. More than one and minimum of the two is same, right? So should be aware of the nurse movement. Movement actually means home visit, right? So failure to do course, uh, these are not so important. On return to the practice, we have seen the return to the practice, leave the practice. This is not same. Return to the practice means going back to the practice. When nurses are going back to the practice, this is uh, again the synonyms of uh, home visit prior or commencing, not the record the time they leave the practice. The nurses will, nurse, nurses will immediately advise staff member of his or her return. When she is returned to the home visit, that time she need to tell some of the staff about her duties to the home visit this time the time she has reached to the practice or the home visit that time should be documented that they are talking about that you should read carefully okay and the nurses will attend any of the specimen then only when they reach to the home visit then nurses will then attend to any specimen cold chain requirements or not that they have to find it out and they should take those things now here question you can see record the time they leave the practice right that is not mentioned as well refill their bag that they have not mentioned they have mentioned when they are reached to the home visit not before that and record the time they leave the practice record the time they leave the practice Re they are not mentioning about record the time they reach the practice leave and practice is reach and practice is different here whole statement when they reach to the practice they are talking about. so this is a false statement one false statement and then refill the bags not mentioned at all this kind of not mentioned wait okay Yeah, uh, not mentioned. You should do the uh, wait. Okay, not mentioned, or you can write false. These two things you should keep in mind when you are reading the part B and part C. If you are, um, if you get the part B and part C, you can also do the elimination method this is called the elimination method not mentioned sometimes they will do the not mentioned part of the tricks since see record the time they leave the practice is a false statement they are talking about when they reach to the practice they never they are never talking about the leaving the practice time time over they are not bothered at all when she leaves uh, from the home visit they are worried about the her existing in the home visit at what time she is reaching at what time okay so this is a not mentioned this is a false statement this is a what is a false this is a false statement and this is a not mention not mention this is a not mentioned refill their bag with the necessary items that they, they are talking about but they are not talking about prior to okay before prior to refill their bag with the necessary item but see they have clearly mentioned again and again commencing before that she needs to tell some of the staffs about her movement about her visit to the practice on return to the practice she nurses will immediately advise staff members of his or her return okay these things this thing is clearly talking about communicate with their intention with the others so this is a way to tackle and thank you so much